Yo, 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 welcome back to Crypto Direct. Just wanted to come holler at y'all. As y'all can see, let's do a refresh on the Ether scan. We just been watching this Ether scan, watching the movement of the same time of going up. As you can see, the holders are 83,750. So that tells me they're currently adding V2 airdrops to its holders that are currently on the V1 that's can get, getting converted to V2. All you have to do is just wait. And I also just watched the AMA. I had to go watch more of the AMA because Russ was talking about how they're moving step by step. They're doing the V2 airdrops first. Then they're going to launch the app. After the app gets launched, then they're going to be working on the, what's that called? The Certec audit for the staking. This whole thing has been planned out strategically to a perfect T. You have futters that just, oh, what's that on my head? I don't see something on my head. Anyhow, you have futters that's just currently flooding this project, talking down on Saitama, mad at Saitama. And what they don't understand how you gonna be mad at a project for continuing to move forward with the plan that they set? They strategically are moving forward with the plan that they set. You could go all the way back to last year. Even in the AMA, they said that in the AMA. Russ was talking about how we learned from our mistakes last year from the um the app launch. So you telling me you're mad about you got you got footers that saying, oh, it's going to be the same thing as the SATA mass, you know, the old SATA mass, you know. So you have footers that saying, oh, SATA mass, SATA pro is just going to be like SATA mass. So you're telling me you don't think they learned from their lesson? You don't think they learned from last year? Look at this. You could honestly just come here and look at this. Look how much they have done. All right. We're going to I'm gonna duplicate this, right? Let's go here real quick. Let me duplicate this. I'm gonna, re I'm gonna duplicate this. We're gonna go to the old contract. That's what we're gonna do. Gonna go to the old so y'all can see. Okay, so currently this is the old Saitama. A lot of the zeros, right? This is the old Saitama. Let's go on Ether scan real quick. Okay, so you see, this is currently the old Saitama with a, a lot of zeros. And you see the holders, right? 369,000 holders. All those holders that are coming from this contract right here are going to this contract. And that takes time. So you think they ain't learned their lesson about what happened last year? When they did the SATA, the SATA mass launch, it, it's, it's the proof is in the pudding. You just come here and look. Just come here and look. Look what they're doing. The SATA mass pro. The new V2 airdrops. And then after that, everything else is going to follow suit. I mean, people, you got to ask yourself, man. You're at the forefront of something great right now. You're literally watching, I said this in my last video, you're watching a company being put together in a bear market. You're watching a company, a certified company, because Zaytama is an LLC, being put together in a bear market. Tell me what devs you know that's, tell me what project that you know anybody that's doing that right now. Tell me anything that you know. I want to know if you knew anybody that they put a project together, the first one failed, went right back to the drawing board and cooked up another project and they're still pushing through with results. Come here, right? You, you look. Let's go here. Let's look at Saitama. See if this is the old one. All right, this is the V2, right? You look at the chart, right? You look at the chart. Let's go for the seven day. Every since it, it every since the new V2 contract has dropped, let's see here, right? We're 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 in the red as of right now. Reason why is because we are in a down market. 
We are in a down market right now. That's why we're in the red, okay? But the overall, if you look at the seven, the seven day to pass, <clears throat> you look at the seven day to pass week, we've been in the green. And like I tell y'all, we'll go to the year. If you buy down here, any of these areas, you buy any of these areas, because right now, everything is down right now. Not just Saitama. You can't sit here and blame everything on Saitama. Everything is down right now. The whole market is down. But we're gradually pumping it back up. Like I said before, if you buy anywhere down here, you will be good. You don't have to sit there and watch your phone 24-7 and worry. Because you're, you're, if you buy in the you buy in the red, it's going to just go up. You got to look at it like that. Like, like Russ said, these markets don't stay, the, don't stay the same forever. If you guys think we're going to be all just red, uh-uh, that's not going to happen. Not with the crypto market. It's not going to stay red forever. This is an opportunity for me and you and everyone else that's watching these cryptocurrencies to invest in and take advantage. What project you want to know? Is any other project out there where you can see the devs, you can talk to the devs, you can actually learn from the devs of what they've been doing. they actually giving you transparency, letting you know what's going on with their project, and you're seeing the results. I don't know about y'all, but on my same time, I've been green. <laughs> and I'm telling y'all, buying down here, when you're buying down here, you know what I'm saying? Instead of buying up there, you good. You don't have nothing to worry about. You don't have nothing to worry about. You know what I'm saying? You don't have anything to worry about. But you got to ask yourself, though, like, everyone buys crypto for a reason. I buy crypto because look at the world. Look at the value of the dollar. Our, our, the value of the dollar is not going to be worth it. Why do you think we have crypto? Look at, if you just take a step back, you got to look at your surroundings, y'all. Pay attention to what's going on. I mean, if you walk in Walmart, there are no, there, there are no cashiers anymore. You know, so that tells me automation is coming into play, right? So they don't need me and you to work for them anymore. So, if we can't work and we can't make money, what are we going to do? You got to invest in something. You got to do something. Crypto. That's the new thing. That's the new thing for all of us. Because before you know it, your dollar will be digital. Why do you think, the, why do you think they're trying to put all these regulations on cryptocurrencies? You gotta ask yourself that. That's what I'm saying. That's a whole nother story. That's what I'm saying. You want to take advantage now. You want to get in a position now. You want to establish a position at least. So therefore, when the prices do get ready to run up, you, you was down here the whole entire time. You was waiting. So now you up there. That's what I'm saying, y'all. Like, hey, say, Tama, if y'all don't miss out on this train, that's all I'm trying to say, yo. Don't miss out. Don't miss out, you know? Because I've been doing this crypto for a little bit now. And when I go, like, like when I look at these charts, I come here and I look at these charts. It's like, yeah, I want to buy some more, right? And I'm going to buy some more. But, and right now, it is a good opportunity to buy some more because we're currently in the we're currently about almost close to 4% down. So it is a good opportunity to add more to your bag. But, okay. So I look at crypto like this, right? I'll come here and I'll look at Bitcoin. And then I'll go back. You got to ask yourself. Ask yourself the same thing that I'm about to ask myself now, right? What was I doing back in June 30th of 2013? When Bitcoin was only $68. Bitcoin was $68. And you see, right? Let's grow. 
Look, look at the price. The price just fluctuating. Going up and down, going up and down, going up and down. And then it just go up and up to 14000 What were you doing back in 2013 when the prices was like $88 and some $68 and some change? What were you doing? Right now, you got the opportunity to take advantage and invest on something right now. And you don't want to invest. You don't want to. You don't want to put yourself in a position because look, all you gotta do, look at look at this, look, look, look at the price. What were you doing? I don't know what I was doing. I wish I would have been buying crypto. I'll tell you that now. Look, look, look at the price, fourteen thousand for one. What if you would have bought a thousand of them? Your pockets would have been so dumb. Probably would have never had to work again in your life because you know when you buy crypto, you buy that much, right? And then run off to that price, you could stake it and then you can earn interest off of it, right? And now Bitcoin and got where you got government officials buying Bitcoin. Baby, pay me in Bitcoin. Earn interest off your Bitcoin. You know, you got a million in Bitcoin. You know what? Let's earn up, let's put it in a high bearing interest account and earn about. Whatever, ten percent off of it. Whatever. Hmm? Gotta ask yourself, what was you doing? That's because right now, looking at these charts, all I'm seeing is just you know opportunity. You know, even Ethereum. Ask yourself, what was you doing with Ethereum? Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's see here. Let's go back to 2015, because that's when Ethereum came out. 2015. You know what were you doing when Ethereum was what? Only what? 53 cent. What were you doing when it ran all the way up? It ran all the way up, kept going up, kept going up. Now it's a thousand. It's a thousand. Dropped back down here. Went down, went down to 100, 200, 300. And then it shot all the way up to about 3,000, 4,000. You know what? What were you doing? You got to ask yourself. Same with all these other coins. You know what I'm saying? All this opportunity right here is just presenting itself to you like, hey, you going to grab me or not? You know, either sit there and just watch, like, uh, should I invest or should I just sit on the sidelines and wait? Oh, when is a good time to get in? I'm not a financial advisor. I don't take no financial advice from me. But the good time to get in is now. Why everything is red. So when it run up, you in the green. You know, you, you like the jolly green giant, big as fuck, with a pocket full of fucking money. So you could just sit back and chill on a beach and drink fucking whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's all I'm trying to say. You know, you only live once, you know. So, hey, it's your choice. You need to just watch everything go by. And then you get old, you be like, oh, you don't want to be like the old grumpy old man. I'm like, why did I not do that? And you mad and you just angry and mad because you ain't take advantage. Mm-mm. No, sir. Like, even with sheep. Sheep is down. You know what I'm saying? I'm a bee. I had to go grab me some more sheep too. I needed some more sheep in my life because last year it presented to me a couple of racks and I needed that. So take advantage. You know what I'm saying? Look, we in the red. You know, it's opportunity right here. You know, especially like around what? 1.30 at night. You know, come to the charts around 1.30, 2.30, 4.30 at night and just... Just look at them bleed. You know, I'm like, oh, okay. You you offering me something to drink? All right, cool. I'll take that. Put it in a little bit. That is, you know, that's all what it is. Just just going over some charts and looking at some crypto. Let me see what's up with uh, what's the name? You know, even um, well, you know, you know, it has six zeros in front of that thing. So hey, that's even opportunity right there too. Yep. She was red for a little bit down here, you know, dropped a little bit. But the overall price, if you look at the overall price, hey, she down, you know, she down. Let's do a little, little quick calculations, right? Okay. I don't like, I don't like to branch off to other cryptos, but, you know, Vault looks like a pretty good project, you know, next to Saitama, you know, because Saitama is, hey, I ain't going to lie to you, Saitama is first. You know, they got, they got the V2 migration. They got the SATA Pro that's coming out. That's about to smack a whole bunch of motherfuckers in their head. And then on top of that, they got the staking feature. 
And then on top of that, wait till they get on these major exchanges. It's a wrap. It's gone. It's going to go straight to the moon. Anyhow, even this, you know, this is opportunity right here because we all in the red right here. All red. Just red, you know, right down here. This is where we at. You know, what if you bought, let's see here. It's got, it got six zeros in front of that thing, right? Let's say I'm going to get me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Right? You know what? Let's go. Let's let's keep it easy. Let's keep eight, nine hundred, right? You know, let's go get me what? That's Billy. I think it's a Billy. I might be wrong. Hundred, hundred thousand, hundred million, one Billy. I don't got my phone. God damn. Let's go on the computer. We're gonna go on the computer. We're gonna do a calculator. We're gonna calculate some stuff up, right? We go. This one Billy. Let me add that up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's see here. Hundred, hundred thousand, hundred million, and we got one billion times that. Just say you got a billion of a uh, vault you do, you know, because this is showing signs like this crypto right here is kind of showing signs of a uh, um, Shiba Inu and a. Uh, say Tomlin in the early stages where a lot of people already had bought in and then took advantage and made their money and got out. You know, this what this what this vault e do kinda looks like to me, you know. But anyhow. So okay, we got a hundred billy, right? I'm gonna do the math on that real quick. Let's say she got six zeros in it, right? She got six yeah, she got six zeros in it, right? So say if this thing just some simple math. One, two, three Four. Let's put four zeros. Say it drops four zeros because it does it seems like that can happen very soon within a bull run with this crypto right here. I feel like this thing will drop four zero will drop two zeros and then it'd be at four and it'd be like ugh nasty. And then your pockets gonna swell up just dumb. People are like, Wow, where did he get all this money from? Hey, why you too busy working these nine to fives and just got your head on the swivel and not paying attention to what's going on I'm over here on this computer getting this crypto trying to get some money in my pocket. All right, so say four zeros with a, you got a billion tokens, four zeros with a, just say a six, right? Four zeros and a six. We're going to add that up, right? Oh, look like you got a cool 60000 off a $700 investment. That's what you just got. You got a cool, a cool 60000 off of, <laughs> what? Let's look down there. A $800 investment, not even. Not even just say let's be nice gas fees seven hundred and fifty dollar investment you got a cool sixty thousand seems good to me <clears throat> but anyhow that's all I'm saying y'all I'm just coming over here talking to y'all about these cryptos you know just trying to give y'all what it is you know what I'm saying don't miss out on the opportunity that's all I'm saying opportunity presents itself once you don't want to miss out on you want to take advantage of it you know put yourself in a position where you can get something you know, you don't want to be sitting out here just like, dang, why did I not invest? You know, but hey, with that being said, I'm going to holler at y'all later. Do me a favor. Like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments below. Follow me over there at Twitter at CryptoDirect1. With that being said, deuces.